All right, now look at this real fast, right? Okay, now look at these three players and look at their numbers. Okay, we got Charles Barkley. He averaged 20, 20, 11. Tim Duncan averaged 19 and 10. Carl Malone averaged 25 and 10. Now, just by numbers, who do you think is the best player? Okay, cool. Now, knowing what you know and knowing who these guys are, who would you say is the best player? You're going to say Tim Duncan, right? Okay. Now, let's look at their numbers from their best year. Um, In 87-88, Charles Barkley averaged 28 points. In 89-90, Carl Malone averaged 31. In 01 02, Tim Duncan averaged 25. Now, just by numbers alone, who would you say is the best player? Okay, cool. So, by you knowing who these guys are, who's the best player to you, you're going to say Tim Duncan. Okay. Now, I ain't trying to be biased. We're going to keep it real. This the uh, most rebounds they average in the season. You know, Tim Duncan averaged uh, 13, basically. Uh, Carl Malone averaged uh, 12. Charles Barkley averaged 14. Now, let me just show you this real fast because this is interesting. Mind you, Charles Barkley is 6'6". Tim Duncan is 7 feet. The most rebounds Tim Duncan ever had in the game is 27. Charles Barkley had 33. He was a 6'6 power forward. Imagine Draymond Green getting 33 rebounds. <laughs> but still, even with all I said, if I was to ask you who is the best power forward of all time, without question, what are you going to say? Tim Duncan. And you know why Tim Duncan? Because he got five rings. That's why. And to say Tim Duncan is the best power forward of all time, that's why he got those five championships, you're discrediting everybody that helped him get there. Because the fact of the matter is, Tim Duncan don't have five championships because he's the best power forward of all time. Tim Duncan won those rings because he was a great player on a great team in a great organization with great coaching and a great system, a great consistent system. Tim Duncan played for the same coach for 19 years. For his whole career, he played for the same coach. The Spurs is ran so well that Tim Duncan last championship, he averaged 13 and 9 that season. He averaged 13 and 9 that season and the Spurs still won the championship. So I'm not saying Tim Duncan not one of the best players of all time. What I am saying is team accolades don't make you the best individual player. Team wins don't make you the best individual player.